Hi, we're here to do a short interview with uh, Hall of Famer Del Suiris, and uh, let's talk a little about the uh, U.S. Open. That's something that's very dear to you. So uh, tell us about what we can expect in the next one that's coming in what, 2014? 2014, uh, 4th of July weekend, or 4th of July uh, uh, in 2014, we're going to have the third episode of U.S. Opens in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, I think we're, we're also going to look towards having uh, a tournament that's continuously getting better. We're, we're hoping for more prize money and better participation. Are we going to be getting uh, ITTF uh, stars? I think uh, what we're trying to do is work up to the point where we're a pro tour event for the ITTF and they've uh, begun to c communicate some uh, path to that that purpose and so we may uh, start to integrate uh, some of the the requirements that they have for pro tour and I think they call it a challenge tournament and uh, we're, we're going to try to uh, incorporate that into our tournament. Do you have an idea of how much prize money is going to be available then? i probably trying to get more and more sponsors obviously but well, uh, we went from uh, 70,000 in 2010 to 100,000 in 2012 here this year, but we're, we're hoping to just continue to go up with that. Uh, and we've got more time now. We've got 18 months between now and, and the U.S. Open. And uh, in, in this current year, we had a lot of things going on with the Olympics. And uh, understandably, most of the top countries didn't really even think about coming to the U.S. Open when it was three weeks before the Olympics. But this time in 2014, uh, there will be uh, thoughts that uh, it's an off-season tournament, but there very well may be more people that would consider coming. wonder if we could get like a, uh, uh, a Legends event and be able to, uh, you know, just, just off my head, and be able to invite sort of, you know, some big name stars that might, you know, from be the past that could come name recognition to create excitement for some of the older players to watch to watch them. Yeah, I know that uh, Christian Lilyroos said that, uh, you know, players like Waldner might might come if they were enticed with the right uh, package. Uh, perhaps that is a possibility, and I'm sure that everybody would enjoy watching some of the classic stars. Uh, of the game and see what they can still do. Well, it would be kind of interesting if you put it out there as sort of a, uh, a groundswell uh, where let's just give a few names, like Waldner for sure would be one of them, and maybe Applegren, maybe there's, you know, a person, a few of them. And the I wonder. Is, uh, is it uh, you know, that won the silver medal in. Acharov? No. No. Uh, he's a lefty, but uh, he played in the. He, he won the silver medal in the men's doubles in the Olympics. Uh, his name is escaping me now, but he, he was at the Baltimore teams this year and played in the finals, but he was a non-player in the finals, but he still can play a fine game of table tennis. Well, what I was thinking is that you, we might get some of the uh, average table tennis players to want to contribute even to a fund to entice them to come and play. That's what I was kind of thinking. Yeah, and, and with a, uh, an event like something like that, it's more conducive to having a, uh, uh, you know, like a VIP uh, event, uh, maybe a, a dinner and a, a short tournament, maybe one game apiece, and, and uh, a special event off-site, off let's mm -hmm. say, for uh, people that were heavy contributors, and then also have a, a, the, the normal... Uh, event at the tournament where people could experience the, the talents that these people have. We have to think outside the box and I, that, that's a great uh, thought. Yeah, I mean the legends always seem to be an attraction so just an idea and it would be, it would, I live in Hawaii and for me to come all the way to Grand Rapids, it's a long way, uh, but I would like to go if I know that I could maybe see some of these guys that, you know, I grew up with, that I really admired, et cetera, et cetera, and just, it was just an idea. Great, great. <laughs> well, we, we certainly are willing to try things, and uh, 
you know, it, it, we've we've tried to raise the bar, and I think uh, some of the things we've done to get local sponsorship and that, but we we need to go uh, two or three steps further now in uh, working up towards being a full pro tour event. And in Grand Rapids, it's very close to Convention Center and the hotel. Is that in that correct? Yes, the Amway Grand Plaza Hotel is a, a five-star hotel, and it's uh, within walking distance of the uh, playing hall. The DeVos Place is a uh, modern convention hall, no barriers, uh, very good lighting. They're on our team so that we don't have any problems with, uh, well, you can't do that or it's too expensive and those types of things. And uh, we have the West Michigan Sports Commission that is uh, the, the people that found Connie and I to, to get us involved. And so we've got a great team of people that are uh, trying to do our best to promote things. Okay, well, thank you very much. And we look forward to a large and exciting 2014 U.S. Open in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Well, thank you very much.